What's happening viewers? Today I'm going to show you all how to change out the steering flexible coupler on a 2014 Kia Cadenza. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the reason I have to change out this um, flexible steering coupler, which is this, is because of this. Hear that? To left, but if I turn the steering wheel towards the right, Yeah, and it's really bad if I'm going down the highway or and I hit a pothole, you'll hear a loud clank sound. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to change that out. And the, all it is is this little thing is shredded um, inside of the power steering, the electric power steering. So we're gonna go ahead and, and replace that. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do while the car is still on, because uh, while the car is on, we need to have access to the steering wheel. You're going to have to turn the steering wheel, and you're going to have to hit that screwdriver right there. If I turn the steering wheel again, you're going to hit this one right here. So let me go ahead and do that right quick. Okay, guys, so I went to Harbor Freight earlier today and uh, bought a few uh, tools so I can actually use my power drill so I can get some of this stuff done and get it done a lot faster. Um, so I've, already, I've had the power tool. Um, I bought this at a Walmart, 141 piece mechanics tool set. And then I bought this at Harbor Freight, 33 piece comfort grip screwdrivers because we're gonna need those long screwdrivers for the steering wheel. And then I bought some bit sets because I believe it's a T30 to uh, get that get that little uh, flexible steering coupler out of there. So, all right, guys. Without further ado, oh, and before I let you guys go, I also got that the hex drill socket driver, so I can actually use all of these tools with my power tool. So it's gonna be nice. All right, guys. Let's get back to that steering wheel. And we're gonna get access to this screw right here. I'm gonna put that right up there. And then we're gonna to wanna to turn to the other side and get access to the other screw. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and turn off the vehicle and we're going to disconnect the negative battery cable. Alright guys, so we've got to disconnect the battery, I don't want to deal with anything exploding on us because there's still power, so we're just going to disconnect that and kind of tuck it away. Next thing you want to do is remove the fuse door. We're going to get that out of the way. Yeah, we're going to want to pop that side panel off. Okay, so you're going to want to insert and kind of gently just work your way around it. And then this will this will pop out. There it goes. So see all the, all the screws are exposed. Because we have to drop this whole bottom piece down. We're also going to want to pop this out too. Kind of just like push it back. On the side of here, I'm going to take off this one and this one as well. All right, these bolts are a size 10 millimeter uh, socket, is what you can use on them. So, Still on there, still pretty, pretty sturdy. Oh, I see. See them, see the 
grooves right there, that little clip. You'd have to push it forward. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you guys down. So, all right, here we go. Okay, so I actually did get it off. You just have to give it a good tug. It, it really likes to uh, grab down below. But I gave it a good tug, and see, look, it's all. It's all unclipping, which is good, because that's what I want. If you just push on the back side, you can bring this forward. You can reverse it on the back, and then now you can actually see what you're working with there. What if we put the screwdriver in here? Oh, that doesn't work. It's not only, yes it does. Ha! That worked. That works. All right. There's a clip on this side. Yeah. So we're gonna need to take this off because I bet you there's a screw behind there. And lo and behold, there's a screw. Alright, got that one. So, get a good tug. What else is holding you in place? Ah, so if you pull this towards you, it'll release these clips back here. And uh, you can get this off. So, we're going to... I uh, kind of don't want to let that dangle. So, I'm going to... I'm sorry you guys are sideways. I'm going to unplug this here. And... Okay. Now we're just going to gonna float there you won't have this problem because you don't have a subwoofer this is my um, subwoofer wires here and back there some more more wires you're also gonna want to take this this harness off so we're gonna we're gonna hit that harness they should be size 10 yeah and they are uh oh Oh, there we go. Right, this one too. Here. And one here. Because remember, all I'm trying to do, you see this whole steering column? I just want to lower it. That's all I want to do. I'm going to do nothing else. So, we got to get all these wires out of the way. So, we're going to disconnect this wire here. And we're gonna disconnect the fuse here, up there. All right, let's get, let's hop into that fun stuff. There we go. All right, you're also going to want to, all right, get, get out of the way. Crazy wires, what the hell? Pay no attention to this wire, um, this wire, is from my stereo um the positive wire got extremely hot over time i don't know somehow it burned and the red wire was exposed well this is the um this tell this wire here tells the amp when to turn off and when to turn on and so this wire touched that positive wire and almost caused a fire in here so I went ahead and I had to replace the amp, I had to replace the positive wire back there in the trunk, and I had to replace the negative ground along with the capacitor, because I have a capacitor back there in the trunk for the stereo. So I replaced it all that, and uh, I just left this wire. The wire still works, it's just, it just sucks because it's exposed, but... If it touches metal, it's okay, because there's not really any, I don't believe there's any power going through it. So, so 
in case anyone's wondering about that wire. Yes, I know. I need to replace it. I just... That's that's a whole another day. Um, that's an all-dayer. But anywho, back to what we're here for. So, got to unplug this. Now... Deal is I'm gonna flip. I flipped the switch to off. I don't know. Does that mean anything? Does that mean I'll get these things out of here a lot easier? And probably not. Yowzers! Jesus! I'm supposed to be having gloves on. I should be wearing gloves. I keep cutting myself. Man, this one is like really in there. I have a feeling if I don't put this glove on, I'll hit here and cut myself again. Oh, whoops. I knocked y'all off. Alright, so I gave that one a good tug. It really sits in there. I um, also got to do this bottom one too. There we go. Because you see this harness here we're gonna we're gonna leave that on there because when I lower this the reason I have to unplug this stuff is all of this is gonna come down as one and I don't want it yanking on any of the wires okay guys we're also gonna remove this as well And with that out of the way, we're going to need to take off. I wonder if I need to hit these screws. Because what we need to get to, uh, we got to remove this screw. You see this AC? This has to come out because if not, when I lower this uh, steering column, it's gonna crash into this AC um, vent, and it's not good or AC duct, I should say. So that just comes out. All right, let's try an eight millimeter socket and get this thing off. There it goes. Alright, cool. Alright, placing that aside. I'm going to place this back here too. That way it's out of the way. Okay, we're also going to need to unplug this harness here. So... That wire, that wire, and unclip that because it looks like it's attached to the steering column. And I'm just worried that when I lower it, it's going to either rip these wires, so rip it out of its clip. So we're going to have some issues there. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. Ah, there we go. Finally. Good God Almighty. See the clips? Good grief. that ow poke my finger well basically stab myself I'll be okay I think I'll live so those clips come out yeah that red you see is my blood I accidentally um Accidentally stabbed myself with this by accident. Yeah, that's just that's beautiful. You're not a mechanic until you draw blood, bust the knuckles, scratch and scrape yourself. You know the usual. Ow! 
That's it, damn it. I'm getting my gloves. This is ridiculous. All right. Got some gloves. Now I can stab myself and scratch myself up as much time as I like. Whoa. That, like, shot off. Great. I'll have to look for that later. All right. I've probably spent, like, 10 or 15 minutes looking for this clip that I shot off earlier. I still don't know where it's at. I've since given up. So, I'm gonna keep working. And I'll look for it later. Let me go ahead and show you plugging in this. And it's like a bigger harness up above. Yeah, that big wire. Let's see, how do I get to it? Here we go. Oh, wow. Huh. This whole thing just comes off. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're looking underneath the steering wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw right here. We're gonna go ahead and see about getting this off. I'm also gonna finish getting this off. I was able to actually uh, pop this up so, get it, have it up here, and we're going to see about sliding this off. Sorry for all the movement. Really? There we go. All right, so we finally got we got this off. Let's set it on the passenger side. Tilt you guys back up. That's what it looks like. All of its innards. Yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, see, now this thing slides up freely, up and down. Now, this is going to be the hard part. So, I need to show y'all the bolts that we're going to have to remove. Should be four bolts holding the steering column in place. Okay. So. That bolt there, that one there, and then there's two more. So if you if you follow this, follow these screws, follow these screws, there's one to the left. So that one should be one to the right, that one. But now what we want to do is we want to make sure, okay, we want to make sure that when we drop this whole harness, um, See, you see this wire here? So, this wire right here will pull on it. So, we don't want that to happen when I when I lower this steering wheel, this steering column. Okay, so yeah, we're going to we're going to unplug the back of this somehow. There's one. There we go. This actually is pretty cool. This little clip this thing, it slides back. I don't know if y'all, if y'all will see that. Whoopsie. But, uh, that slides. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, so we got that one. It's another one right here. And I apologize for the crappy angles I have you guys at right now. Um, like I said, I can't find one piece of my equipment for recording. Oh my goodness. Ugh. It's like really in there. Ah, there we go. There's that. Got that one. You got one more plug on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah, you can get this from the top. So I'm gonna place it all down and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it. Okay. That is removed. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wanna detach this. So it's another clip here. So you'll just get your needle nose pliers or a flathead screwdriver, push one clip in and then pull that out. So I'm gonna place you guys down and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I undid this. It was sitting on that bracket there. And uh, I just used my flathead screwdriver to kind of um, push on these tabs where my thumb and my index finger is at. So you just push on those tabs and it pulls out. So I believe once I lower it, it sh I don't think it'll be in the way. I'm hoping I don't have to undo that one too. I don't think I'll have to though. I think I can just kind of tuck this. I think I can just let it hang and I should be all right. I think that's the game plan. All right. Moving on. I believe everything is unplugged. It looks like a hot effing mess underneath here. Let me zoom out. So you can see what I'm working with. Yeah. That's all the crap I've taken off so far. So it looks like a hot freaking mess right now. But um, I'm going to keep going. And I still got to lower the steering wheel column. And I think I can. I think we've removed enough stuff to actually get to the fun part, which is lowering this. So remember those bolts I showed you earlier, I think we're going to go ahead and hit that and uh, lower this down. But before we do, you always got to be super, super cautious that there's no more wires on this damn steering column. Because if there are wires on the steering column, we're going to be in big trouble because something's going to rip and pop and then we'll have to rewire and I don't feel like doing all that okay so all right guys so I'm gonna use a half driver you can use a 13 millimeter socket um, either a 13 millimeter or a half either or oh, still get the job done I'm gonna do the back ones first That's my final bolt. So I'm gonna brace it. All right, now I'm gonna get two hands. I'm gonna guide this bad boy down. Making sure I'm not hitting anything. Huh. Okay. go all right that's lord and now for the fun part see that that's what we got to change out ah, fun stuff fun stuff but uh yeah that's what all that looks like a big hot effing mess it's like a damn catastrophe damn bomb went off in here all right let's get to it so there should be three screws holding this thing in and it's a t30 that you're gonna need and you only remove the black on here so this one that i'm trying to make my way to so it's gonna be that one take I had to take off my watch too. Alright, here it goes. Alright. Uh, 
That's one bolt down. Two more to go. There it goes. screws out one more to go the other one's in the back you guys won't be able to see me get to it so yeah okay guys so I got my uh, steering wheel to sit a lot lower um, this line sits on top of here on top of this wire so when I push this back on sorry when I put it back on I'm at to slide that big wire up over that wire harness but I did get it uh, lowered a lot lower than it was before so now I'm gonna try to attempt to get the back screws off it's only there's only three uh, t30 screws that are holding this thing in place as you can already see it's already separating right there so I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys away let me get that last screw back there and then I'll turn you guys back on we'll take it off together all right, as promised, I finally got the last screw off, and that is what mine's looks like. It's all chewed up. There's shards all over the place. Oh, try and set that off to the side right there. Let's get closer. And that is what mine's looks like. Bunch of chewed up plastic. Looks pretty crappy in there. Probably gonna have to get my compressor and blow all that crap out. Yeah, but it's it's just all, all chewed up. All right, that's what it looks like. All chopped up, chewed up. It's supposed to look like this and instead it looks like that that's what 143,000 miles look like or 144 I should say um, <laughs> yeah that's what mines look like wow that's just crazy yeah this is definitely in engineering problem um they're gonna have to figure out a, another material or you will be having to change this out probably either 40,000 miles it just depends how much driving you actually do but you will have to change this out again this is this is pretty ridiculous but whatever it is what it is yeah Tore apart my vehicle to change out that. That's ridiculous. You have to do all this freaking work. Look at all this. Look at this hot mess. It's ridiculous. All because of a defective part. That right there. Which it'll eventually. This will eventually turn to that. This is craziness. Oh, let's see how long this one lasts. I wouldn't doubt I have to do this job again. Probably maybe four or five years down the line. Hopefully by then they'll have a part that won't get destroyed like this. This is this is pretty bad. Got my compressed air. I could almost eat off that, almost. All right, so that one's pretty much clean, but you also have to clean out that one too. Yeah. My uh, compressor's probably gonna kick on, so it might get a little loud, I do apologize. 
the big chunks you can probably just take off by hand. Sorry, this steering wheel shroud is annoying and it's in my way. And oh, you guys will will see the frustration you have to deal with this stupid little thing. I just don't see no point in taking it off. It's pointless. So I'm gonna have to put it back on. Okay guys, um, it's pretty much clean. I got all the all the debris out of there. It's a little light. So I pretty much got all the little pieces of shard up rubber. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the new one in. Uh, there's no real orientation to how it goes. Just get it in there. So I'm gonna put this right in there. And you don't have to line it up or anything. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter. You flip it on the other side or whatever it may be. Just get it in there. That's all you got to do. And then you're just going to take the other piece and sit it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now if anything, you might have to turn the teeth on this to get it to go in there. What the hell? There we go. Back on there. Alright guys, that's how you change out that little uh, steering, the flexible steering coupling. 2014 Kia Cadenza. Now if y'all want to end the video right here, you more than welcome to. If not, you can hang out with me. I'm going to keep going and put this stuff all back together.